Hello everyone, this is Cody Snell and I'm a meteorologist for the National Weather Service's Weather Prediction Center. This is a weather briefing for the upcoming 2024 total solar eclipse and travel period surrounding the event on Monday, April 8th. We are only five days away from the event, so some of the important weather features are coming into focus. This briefing will be a general overview of the expected weather impacts and will not be regularly updated. As always, visit weather.gov for more information and visit WPC's website for updated key messages and cloud cover forecasts. Here's a quick reminder of the eclipse path and timing. The entire lower 48 will have some impacts as the moon crosses the path of the sun with lesser coverage across the northwest and southeast corners of the nation, but the track of totality will cross from south central Texas to northern Maine. Totality will begin around 1.30 p.m. Central Time in Texas, reaching Southern Illinois by 2 p.m. Central Time, Northern Ohio by around 3.15 Eastern Time, and Northern Maine by 3.30 Eastern Time. At certain locations, the totality could last as long as five minutes. Therefore, current cloud cover forecast may show the expected cloud cover at a given hour, while the actual conditions are important at a minute-by-minute -minute basis. At this time frame, it will be important to focus on the bigger picture and not specifics. The days leading up to the eclipse could be busy travel days. An ongoing storm system over the Great Lakes and Northeast will be exiting on Saturday. Some parts of the Northeast and New England are likely to be cleaning up from heavy wet snow this week, but calmer weather on Sunday should help that effort. Meanwhile, a potent storm system over the Rockies on Saturday will spread mountain snow and rain throughout the Great Plains. There is potential for severe thunderstorms over the Central Plains on Saturday, as well as very strong winds throughout the High Plains. So be sure to remain weather aware if you're traveling this weekend. By Monday, Eclipse Day, the low pressure system over the plains is forecast to shift into the Mississippi Valley. There remains some uncertainty with how fast the system moves eastward, which could have great impacts on cloud cover. Additionally, an attached frontal boundary is expected to stall across parts of the southern plains, leading to increased cloud cover and rainfall chances. Cloud cover will be likely be drawn out ahead of this low pressure system and along the stalled frontal boundary, with a potential break in between. Here's a look at where measurable rainfall is most likely along the totality path Monday afternoon, which would likely lead to the thickest cloud cover. This includes a few hours before and after the eclipse, and not exactly at eclipse time. But even though we are more concerned with the 1 to 3 p.m. local time, it is more important to show this range as timing of rainfall could still change. Rainfall chances are greatest across south central and southeast Texas, greater than 50% in the oranges and yellows, with lower probabilities from Arkansas to western New York, where you see the 10 to 40% chances in blue and purple colors. New England currently has less than 5% chances of rain on Monday afternoon. And here's what most Eclipse viewers will be watching as the event draws closer, the cloud cover forecast. Currently, the Day 5 cloud cover forecast from the National Blend of Models depicts the best chances for clearer skies to occur within totality from southeast Missouri to central Indiana, as well as northern New England. Cloudier forecasts exist across south central Texas into Arkansas, as well as the lower Great Lakes region. However, this forecast does not include the type of clouds. High clouds alone may not block out the eclipse, so even if there is some cloud cover in the forecast, all hope is not lost at seeing this astronomical event. This forecast is also very likely to change in the days ahead. By Tuesday, a potential busy travel day leaving the eclipse path, numerous showers and thunderstorms are possible in the southern plains and lower Mississippi Valley. Some storms will have the potential to turn severe, as well as the possibility of flash flooding. So be sure to plan ahead and check the local forecast before hitting the roads or heading to the airport on Tuesday. And again, a general reminder, local forecasts are available at weather.gov where you can find up-to-date detailed information WPC will also be updating eclipse key messages and national cloud cover forecasts every day at 2 p.m. leading up to the eclipse. You can also follow WPC on X, Facebook, and YouTube. Also, lastly, 
Remember to stay, stay safe, wear Eclipse glasses while viewing the Eclipse. And from all of us at WPC, we hope you enjoy the event.